Hi guys, I'm here with Mike Pollock. You might know him as the voice of Eggman and countless other characters. Hi there, I'm Mike Pollock. You might know me as Dr. Eggman, the voice of countless other characters. <laughs> Too many to list here, or we'd never have anything to talk about. Uh, so the first question is, did you watch the previous versions of the Turtles? Um, no, only in passing. When I was uh, growing up, I was, uh, let's see, I was just on the way out of high school when the turtles were happening. So no, I didn't, uh, didn't watch them. I came in uh, to the stuff I did in 2003 with a very fresh viewpoint. And how did you find out about the TV show? Um, I knew about the original ones because they were all over the news. Uh, friends in school were watching them. So they were a very pop culture thing. And as far as the 2003 one that I was in, I heard that they were... Uh, uh, licensing the uh, cartoon, and I was very interested in being a part of it. They were nice enough to ask me a couple of times. And what was the auditioning process like? Very much like any other audition. I went in uh, uh, specifically first for The Garbage Man, and they, the Turtle production team knew me from being around the 4Kids production stuff on other stuff, but none of them had ever worked with me. So I went in, saw the script, did a very loud, boisterous, wet, drippy audition, and uh, shocked the heck out of at least one guy who said, where did that come from? I said, thank you. That's what I do. Uh, did you audition for any other roles? Um, I'm trying to remember the other uh, thing that uh, I, the big role I did was uh, King Kirby, the Jack Kirby inspired character. I don't believe I auditioned for that. I believe I was just uh, assigned that. So no, the, the only audition I had for the Turtles was uh, for Garbage Man. And then the rest, they just said, we trust him. Let's him, let him do it. And was it hard to get into the characters? No. The thing that really helped with uh, Garbage Man was a bottle of water, uh, which usually you should have some water when you're uh, recording anyway. But I had a little extra water so that I could make him extra slobbery. So when he sounds wet, he sounds wet. Can you still do the voices? Sure. It may not be quite as wet now, but it went something like, Greetings, filth. Garbage is power. Greetings, filth. Garbage is power. Um, and who's your first, who's your favorite person uh, to work with in the show? I love working with anyone because actors, just in general, are fun to watch. Even when you're watching them on stage or being part of the production, watching them essentially from the sidelines, it, they're just actors are great people and even if they're not great people you don't spend much time with them you're there for a couple hours and then they're gone and so are you but the turtle team um i will take partial credit uh at least for getting michael singer nicholas his role as leonardo because he had not yet worked with four kids he heard that they were doing stuff on turtles i was working with his production company nyev post on some other stuff and he said boy it'd be great if i could get an audition there and i said come here and I walked him into the studios when they were having auditions, and they took him in, and the rest, as they say, is history. And, and how did, did you feel any pressure when, was, uh, when doing the voice for Jack Kirby due to how important he was? I, I got to do as much research as I could. I try to research, depending on the role, there is only so much research you can do. But if I'm portraying a, a real-life person, some research is better than no research, because... What if he sounded like this? And I had no idea that would be inappropriate. Um, so I went online and it was in around 2003. The internet wasn't quite the internet it is today, but I scoured the internet looking for some clips. I even asked one of his uh, former associates if he had any recordings. And I was told uh, in no uncertain terms, he didn't like being transformed into a cartoon. So this friend of his would not help me. Great. I kept looking, found an interview clip, listened to it, sounded like a distant relative of mine. And I said, okay, that's the voice I'm going to remember. And it basically became this sort of a Jack Kirby voice, sort of a very New York and old and gentle, like one of my relatives. So um, I hope I got it right. And do you have a favorite person uh, to voice? Um, the, the nature of acting, especially in the voice acting business, the jobs are so few and far between or so short lived and far between. I love whatever character I'm voicing at the time, put a script in front of me. Let me do my, what I do. I love that. So as I like to say, my favorite job will always be the next one. And um, do you prefer to do um, voices for uh, cartoons on, on, on TV shows or video games? 
I will voice anything that someone wants me to voice. I like to say I voice things that can't voice themselves. So if a video game wants me and they think I can do something uh, that they want, great. If a cartoon wants me to do something and thinks I can do what they want, great. If a boring corporate narration for some financial institution wants me to do something and they think I can do what they want, great. I provide a service. I enjoy providing the service I provide, and I'm glad that some people find it a useful service that they can take advantage of. And do you prefer to do uh, uh, voiceover work or uh, dubbing? Um, given the choice, and the, there isn't usually a choice, it's what the project is is structured. But I like to do the prelay stuff where it's not you're not constrained by fitting existing animation or existing lip flap. You can just you have your way. You take the lead, and then they'll animate to you. Or alternatively, if it's just audio, like a podcast or a radio show, there's no animation to worry about. It's just, it's theater of the mind. It's me. Let me go. And I do my thing. Um, and who's your uh, favorite turtle? Oh, that's a great question. I'm going to probably have to say Leonardo because uh, I helped him happen to some degree. <laughs> um, did you watch uh, the TV show at the time? Um, I watched the episodes I was in. Uh, I had my kids were growing up at that time, so they would watch if it was on. But generally, I prefer to watch stuff I'm in. But if the kids are watching something that I happen to be in, great. And if it's stuff that my friends happen to be in and the kids are watching, I'll watch that too. And did you have a favorite episode from the TV show? Um, well, there are the ones I did, and I'm trying to think if I preferred Garbage Man or uh, King Kirby better. Um, Garbage Man was fun. King Kirby had a little more emotional impact, and it was a bit more acting-y acting. And I, I would have to say that was probably a little more rewarding. Both were great, but if I had to choose one to make people watch, watch King Kirby. And, and, and who's your favorite, who's your favorite um, person, um, or no, who's your favorite um, role to do as an actor? Well, I like the, the voices that make me laugh. So if a, if a character has a funny voice, like my big truck driver voice that I've used a lot, or uh, the famous Edwin impression that I do, those, the, those characters make me laugh. But again, as a full service actor, if it's uh, comedy or drama, I'm just as happy. I love the challenge of getting to portray a character and making it interesting for somebody to watch or listen to. And um, another question was, um, did you have any input on, on your character of a TV show? Um, not on Turtles, no. They, uh, they were pre-existing characters to some degree. They, they didn't know what they wanted as far as the voice, so I guess the voice was all mine. And as for uh, Jack Kirby, they didn't tell me to research him, but I took that upon myself. So just the, the characterization, the, the, the acting part, the audio part of it. But as far as the visuals, no. Or the storyline, no. Because um, there was going to be an episode in season five, I was cancelled with your character. Did you um, get any scripts for it? I heard about it after the fact, way after the fact. Uh, one of the guys who was writing for the Turtles also did some of the uh, promotional work, and he happened to see me in passing. Oh, by the way, there was going to be another episode of uh, for Garbage Man, but uh, it didn't get approved. So, okay. Who knows what could have been. And, and what would you say is your uh, favourite role to do as an actor? Um, any role that I, that a, a viewer or audience member would get as much joy out of as I do. So if you like comedy, I like comedy. Watch me do comedy. If you like uh, heavy drama, I'll do heavy drama. Watch me do heavy drama. So really it's about audience favorites. I'm, I'm there to portray the script that's in front of me, whatever it might happen to be. I love them all. <laughs>